we used to just go down to the water and jump on anything that floated. And uh, it was in the heyday of uh, Gate 5 Sausalito in the late 60s. And uh, <clears throat> there was all kinds of stuff floating around the bay. And one day, my friend and I found it in El Toro, just the hull. We didn't really know what it was. And uh, there was this old wino that lived in a shack out in the marsh that we always used to go to for advice. He was our go-to guy. And uh, <clears throat> he had this homemade encyclopedia that had all this information and everything we asked him. Basically, he had it in this cool encyclopedia. And we knew there was a thing called salvage rights, so we went and checked with him. And he, was, he opened his book and he had all this stuff on it. And he goes, yeah, pretty much according to my book, this is, the boat is legally yours, but just in case I'm wrong, you better paint it a different color. <laughs> <laughs> so we did, and uh, uh, eventually we just Tom Sawyered that thing all over the bay. We wound up getting a mast and a boom and a sail, and uh, we couldn't figure out how to sail it, so we saved up our money and bought this little outboard motor in the paper, a used outboard motor, and put that thing on the back. And it was me and my friend, and his. Uh, he had a Labrador Retriever black lab and the fuel tank and the, if you can imagine two kids a dog a fuel tank and an outboard motor on an El Toro and it had about two inches of freeboard left so whoever wasn't driving had to bail because there was like water coming in over the bow the whole time 